That's really helpful. Thank you. What's more important in leadership, skill or character? Well, let's put it this way. Um, you have to have both, but if you don't have character, the skill can turn and not only ineffective and, and in a wrong direction, it can turn demonic. I mean, you know, as we look at history and the, the examples of leadership, some of them are absolutely catastrophically evil. And they were leaders of enormous ability. So skill cannot be on itself uh, alone uh, the criterion for leadership. It is a sine qua non. I mean, you can't lead without skill. And by the way, I think some of that is innate, uh, you know, just yeah. by God's gift. I think some of it is is developed. And I think you see that in the scripture because, you know, you have the Apostle Paul uh, telling Timothy, you know, to to fan the flame, <laughs> you know, and, and so I do think we we, we learn to uh, to hone those skills and to develop those skills. I think the leader's always growing in that sense. But, um, you know, character is right at the heart of it. And, and yeah. you know, I, I think when you look at the Old Testament, um, you know, uh, it's impossible to separate character. It's impossible to decenter character. You know, David uh, was a sinner, but he was a man after God's own heart. Um, you look at Peter, who's corrected by Paul. Uh, you look at Paul, you know, who speaks of himself as, uh, as the least of all the apostles. Yeah. When we talk about character it doesn't mean that we are without sin it does mean that redeemed by the blood of the lamb uh we seek in every way to demonstrate the character of a christian the uh, the fruit of the spirit and uh the the conformity to the image of christ i think without that uh the leader's going to head in a very different direction and frankly it's going to hurt people yeah yeah, yeah. 